Day one of 60 days, 60 IoT tutorials. Let's get started. This little module here is the DHT11 sensor. It can measure temperature and humidity using just a few lines of code. You'll find similar sensors in ovens, skeezers, ACs, basically any appliance where temperature matters. It has three pins, ground voltage and data. Here I'm blowing hot air using hairdryer. Watch the sensor data spike on the laptop behind live via internet. When the air cools, the emoji changes back all in real time. So how does this work? The DHT11 sends temperature and humidity readings to ESP32. The ESP32 pushes that data on ThinkSpeak using GET request. ThinkSpeak stores that data and our web page, then pulls the latest data using their API, and it is then showed on the web page. Here's the hardware setup: DHT11 connected to ESP32 and just three wires, and you're ready to go. Ground, VCC, and there's a signal pin that basically sends the data from DHT11 to ESP32. In the Arduino code, we include the DHT library, initialize it, connect Wi-Fi, and set up the ThinkSpeak. Wi-Fi is essential, the ESP32 connects to your network before sending the data. We then read humidity and temperature using simple function calls. These values are assigned to ThingsPick fields, and this line pushes the data to the cloud. Here's the live ThingsPick dashboard tracking the latest values. On the web page, we use JavaScript to fetch the data via ThingsPick's API and show if it is getting too hot, we even show the hot emoji. Want to learn IoT the right way? Get my book Switch to IoT, a step-by-step -step guide to start your IoT career. Links in the comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. See you on day two.